Hey there, Teresa here with today's Two Minute Tilt. I wanted to surprise my mom. I was probably in third grade, right about there. It was during the summer. Uh, she was going to just run downtown in the small town of Fairmont that I grew up in, run some errands, and she was going to leave me at home because my big sister Barb was sleeping in upstairs in her bedroom really sleeping in because she had worked the night shift at the local canning factory. So I decided I wanted to make my mom lunch. So what that looked like was opening up a can of Campbell's tomato soup, pouring it in the little, I've done that before, pouring that in the little dipper that my mom used to warm it up in for me, and then going to turn on the burner to our old electric coil stove. Who hadn't quite figured that one out. So I looked at the pictures and I think that knob was going to go to this burner. So I turned it on. Now, third graders are not the most patient people. And probably after 60 seconds or so, I thought I did something wrong because whenever mom was cooking on the stove, that, that coil burner was bright red. I waited a little bit longer and it still wasn't red. So I was I thought I picked the right dial, but maybe not. So I pulled the dipper away from the pan and to see if it was actually working, I went boom, palm right on that burner. I had turned on the right burner. I pulled my hand away and immediately saw blisters matching the coils of the, of the oven. I share this story with you because that was a painful memory. It was a painful experience. It did not feel good. My hand hurt for a really long time. And I learned something from it. Do not put your hand on a burner that may be hot or turned on. The same is true for all of the pain we feel, emotional pain, physical pain. We don't like to feel it. We like to dodge it, check out from it, numb it, explain it away. But we need to feel it because that pain gives us valuable information of how we can take care of ourselves. Imagine if I had gone, oh, it doesn't hurt that much. It's okay, like all of that. No. This is one of the reasons why our scarcity is a gift because it's a pain that's giving us valuable information if we're only willing and courageous enough to hear it and learn from it, my friend.